Doctor, let's talk about breathing a little bit. And having talked to a number of doctors, uh, it seems clear that we don't maybe concentrate enough on that or or spend enough time doing it correctly or, or deeply enough. Can you explain that we, a little well, bit? Well, humans and all mammals are aerobic organisms, mm -hmm. as in we require oxygen. Uh, there have been some interesting papers written saying that over the course of the past few centuries, we have reduced the oxygen content on the planet Earth by cutting down so many trees. Mm -hmm. We cut down roughly the equivalent of the state of Pennsylvania in trees every year. Wow. That's what's going on with the deforestation. And when you realize that trees are the lungs of the earth, uh, trees are these huge photosynthetic factories, and they take in carbon dioxide and water, and with the action of photosynthesis, they produce oxygen as their byproduct. That's their waste product, their urine. That's what we need. And the more we cut down trees, the less oxygen there is. So that's my first gripe. Mm -hmm. And then the second thing is, you're right, people don't focus on the importance of breathing. Uh, belly breathing literally is saying that Without your chest going out, can you push your stomach out, which is diaphragm breathing, which is sucking air or oxygen into the lower part of the lungs, and it's fully oxygenating the tissue because cancer is an anaerobic organism. It does best in anaerobic environments, which is why some interesting studies have said if you give niacin, which is one of the B vitamins, if you give that to a cancer patient before you go in and give them radiation therapy, you have a much higher tumor kill because you've oxygenated the tissue.